Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of Math Behind the Modules. Okay, this is lesson 21. I've decided to skip lesson 20 as far as a video goes because it was an in-class um, activity that we spent the whole period on, basically. And we actually measured the room and the windows and the doors and the desks and all that. Went into a catalog online and found some interesting furniture and did some scaling. But of course, in real life, it doesn't always give us the perfect user-friendly values that the book does in their examples. So it was pretty tedious in the division and so forth. So I've decided not to make a video of that lesson. Um, it was just a um, activity applying the knowledge. So we're just going to continue now. We're going to go to lesson 21. And this lesson, it is on exercise on changing scales. How does your scale drawing change when a new scale factor is presented? Okay, so a school plans to publish your work. Now this is the dream classroom again. So since I don't want to use those really wacky values, I'm going to skip this here. And I'm going to start with this first exercise here. And it says the picture shows an enlargement or a reduction of a scale drawing of a trapezoid. Okay, so in class we actually took rulers and we measured Okay, so we measured these in class, and they are showing a ruler with an example here. It wasn't seven centimeters from bottom left corner to bottom right corner, which is our base one of our trapezoid. Um, I'm going to put the numbers in we used in class, if I remember them correctly, and I just did measuring myself. Um, this was 73, and we're going to do it in millimeters for so avoiding decimals. 73 millimeters. This was 54 millimeters. And this is 33 millimeters, and the left leg was 51 millimeters. Okay, so that's what we measured in class. And now it says, using the scale factor written on the card you chose, draw your new scale drawing with, with the correct calculated measurements. Okay, so in class, what I had done was I had passed out a piece of paper to everybody, and they either got a quarter of an inch, a half an inch, a three-quarter of an inch on theirs, a one inch, three halves, two, three, or four. So different scales. Whole numbers or anything greater than one is a is a uh, enlargement, an enlargement, and anything less than one is a reduction. So some of the students had a reduction, some had an enlargement, and there were those who got the number one realized that they were just making a copy of the original and not changing its size. Scale factor of one equals the original. Okay. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to choose one of the values, and I think I'll choose the um, I'll choose the one quarter inch. So this is an example on a quarter inch. So if you're looking at your students' um, module and they have a different value there, it's not that they did anything wrong. They just had a different value in class. Or if you are a student and you're saying this doesn't match, you know what we did in class because you were there, right? So I'm going to use a quarter. So what is the scale factor between the originals and the scale drawing? So I would say if I got the quarter, I would say, okay, so I'm going to take my 33, and if I'm going to multiply that by one quarter, that's going to be 33 over 4, which equals, I'm doing this in millimeters, so 33 divided by 4, is eight and a quarter. Okay, which is eight and one quarter. So I'd be eight and one quarter millimeters. And I'm going to just go around, starting at the top, go clockwise, and then say 54 times a quarter equals uh, 54, 4 goes into 5 once, 4 goes into 14 three times, 4 goes into 25, 13.5, or 13 and 1 half, so that would be 13 and 1 half millimeters, so these are just my measurements of my new scale, and then I'm going to take the 73, and I'm going to multiply it by a quarter, which is the same as dividing by 4. So just to speed things up, I'm going to do this. 73 divide 4, enter. 18 and a quarter. 
So it's going to equal 18 and one quarter. 18 and one quarter millimeters. Okay. And then finally, the last one is 51. So if I do 51 times a quarter, it's 51 divided by 4. And that is going to equal 4 goes into 5 once, 4 goes into 11 twice, 8, 9, 10, 3, 4 goes into 37, 28, 4, okay, so that's 12.75 or 12 and 3 quarters. Okay, I decided to switch it to millimeters so we weren't using fractions of a centimeter, okay? And we're still going to get fractions of a millimeter, so it's going to be pretty precise and pretty hard to draw this, but it's close enough for our liking. All right, so it says, what's the scale factor between the original scale drawing and the correctly calculated measurements? Well, for my example, it was a quarter. So I drew a quarter. So it said the longest base length for part B, the longest base length of the actual trapezoid is 10 centimeters. What is the scale factor between the original scale drawing and the actual trapezoid? Well, in class, we didn't do centimeters. We did millimeters. So 10 centimeters is 100 millimeters. So the answer to this question is right there. The longest length was 73. So that would be 73 to the actual 100. So the answer is 73 one hundredths. Okay, going on to C. What is the scale factor between the new scale drawing you drew and the actual trapezoid. Okay. So, okay, so if I take the measurement of my, let's see, what side do I want to use? 33 millimeters, let's use the top piece. So if I choose my 33 millimeter side, then I would say the scale factor between the new drawing and the one I drew, and the actual, it'd be, um, let's see, the longest base length of the actual trapezoid was 10. So the longest base length of this one is 7 centimeters, 7 centimeters, 7.3 centimeters. All right, one more. Okay, so we're going to use this length. So what did we get in hours? We got 18 and a quarter. So if I bring this down, it would be 18 and one quarter over 100. Okay, 18 and one quarter over 100. So I don't like a fraction within a fraction, so I'm going to fix this. 18 times 4 is 18 and 18 is 36. 72 plus 1 is 73 over 4 divided by 100. Okay, which equals 73 over 4 times 1 over 100, which equals 73 over 400. Okay, so the scale factor between the new scale drawing I drew and the actual trapezoid was 73 over 400. Okay, so I just got that from my longest side, 73. And I scaled it a quarter, so now it's 18 and a quarter millimeters. And the original was 100 millimeters, so it's 18 and a quarter out of 100. And that converts to 73 over 400. It's not a pretty number to work with. 73 does not reduce, so we can't reduce that fraction. Okay, and that was that last Converting scale drawings. Go do your problems. Okay.